The recent popularity of OpenAI's ChatGPT has many educators concerned about plagiarism, thinking that students will simply use ChatGPT to generate assignments rather than writing them themselves. Now if you're in this boat, don't worry because the community Hugging Face has got your back. I'm going to show you a tool that will allow you to detect whether artificial intelligence was used on a written passage. But before I do that, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be uploading new videos on a variety of different topics. So the AI community Hugging Face has recently launched a tool that will help educators and other people detect whether a selection of text has been written with artificial intelligence or whether it's real. You're looking at the website right now, it's called GPT-2 Output Detector. I'm going to leave the link in the description and on the screen right now. But it's really easy, all you do is go to ChatGPT, you enter a query and you copy your text, go back to the Output Detector and paste your text, and after just a few moments, it will go through, analyze your text, and give you a percentage whether your text is fake or real. In this case, it was correct. That text has been generated by ChatGPT. Now, let's try to copy and paste real text. I just did a search for growth mindset. I was able to come up with this blog post. I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to paste that into our detector and again you'll see that it was able to identify that selection of text as being real so now i'm back on chat gpt i'm going to have it write a persuasive letter to the newspaper on why students should not text or drive okay here's my text let me go ahead let me copy this text and I'm going to go back in and paste it. And again, you can see it accurately was able to detect that yes, this was produced through artificial intelligence. So if you're looking for a way to check a selection of text, go ahead and check out the GPT-2 detector and that hopefully should give you an idea. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this content, I would love it if you could subscribe.